To make it at Michigan, Brady needed someone to help him unlock and clear his mind. Someone like Michigan's associate athletic director, Greg Harden. In those days, I talked to every freshman class that came in looking at the issues of self-defeating attitudes and behaviors, relationship mastery, all kinds of crazy stuff. And then eventually, we are doing giant group therapy, building a team. Before his sophomore season, Brady met with Harden for a private visit. It's a rare moment when a kid will show up at my office saying, I need some support. He says, I want to be the starting quarterback at Michigan and he had just lost 25 pounds from appendicitis. He was the skinniest kid you ever saw in your life, talking about he wanted to be a quarterback at Michigan. It went from there to uh, helping him understand I could not get him a starting job at Michigan. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about that. My job was to convince him that whether he ever started a game at Michigan, that he's got to be prepared to be the best player on the team. And if he's doing his job, to be the absolute best possible competitor on that floor, on that field, period. He'll have a shot. Everyone that wants to leave doesn't want to leave because they made a choice. They chose Michigan, and they want it to work. But not starting breaks your heart. And the fight is, how do you not take it personally? We recruited you, we loved you, and now you're going to go somewhere else where they're going to recruit you, they're going to love you, and it's going to be the same people, the same disposition, the same attitude, and you will have to prove yourself. Prove yourself here. Hey, your job is to fight. Don't complain. Don't explain. If you want to cry, if you want to whine, you come in my office. But when you walk out this office, nobody is to see you sweat. Because in this world called football, you'll have a chance to be on the field. Will you be ready? By his junior year, Brady had won the starting job. Still, he continued to meet with Harden. He was in the office every week. <laughs> he, would, he would show up Friday before a game, every game, <laughs> and sit and prepare himself mentally. Remember, we're talking about a 20-year-old guy. <laughs> this guy was hungry to be the best. He was trainable, coachable, and hungry. Brady had people who, who thought he was too skinny, funny looking, but he was the sort of guy that would do whatever it took to please people. I can't stand it. Run it again. Huddle up and run it again, Brady. Especially authority figures. So he was easy to work with because his respect for authority was something that he capitalized on. Right there, good. Great to see it, Brady. That's the best series you've had in camp. He has mastered his insecurities and his, his fears in brief moments. Oh, Carolina 23 yard line. He has learned to silence the noise and the clutter in order to focus like a laser beam on the task at hand. He was able to wrestle with whatever demons he might have had. in pursuit of perfection. Brady. My job was to convince him with or without football, he was going to be great. And once he seized that, there's no limits. I don't think there's any limits that he had after that. I never expected him to be the amazing human highlight reel that he is. Still holding the football, looking, firing end zone, touchdown but I expected him to be good at everything that he did. Everything. Brady hasn't played at Michigan in over a decade, but the mindset he adopted there while trying to win the starting job remains with him to this day.